Most people eat, eat to live. Uh, I live to eat. Uh, I grew up in Bombay, a family of six kids. Every Indian parent wants their kids to be professionals. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, uh, businessmen. Uh, people didn't do what I did. People didn't want to become chefs. All I wanted to do was be by good food, learn as much as I can. In 1987, I came to New York City. It was very hard. I walked the streets trying to find jobs. I knocked at many of the best restaurants in the city and nobody ever gave me a chance. Uh, I heard of Gray Coons and I heard that he was uh, opening a restaurant and he was a chef who was very interested in Asian flavors. So he hired me as a salad cook, just building salads all day long. You know, one of the most important things I learned at Les Penas would be respect for the kitchen. I believe if you respect the kitchen and respect every piece of equipment in there, uh, makes you a better cook. The discipline that I got from Gray was, was tremendous. We cleaned the kitchen ourselves, scrubbed it down. We weren't allowed to burn pots. You burnt a pot, you washed it. You had to keep your station clean. Your uniform had to be white, clean, no stains. You learn to cook cleaner, and it, it, it reflects in your food. Oh, no, 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 you should follow that. Uh, one of the main things that I learned from Les Benaz that have changed in my life is that it was a kitchen of screamers. It was a kitchen of making people feel uncertain. And once you start screaming at people, they just shut down. So it doesn't make for a very good place to work in. And I believe that trying to get people to cook from a good place, keep them calm, makes the food a lot better. I believe that if you want to cook, you got to be happy. Happy people make good food. You have to be a part psychologist if you're in the, in the kitchen because uh, you have a bunch of people and you got to think of them as your kids and you have to get the best out of them. That's your role. And I have a great relationship with every single person who's passed through my kitchens. Every person I pick to be a sous chef, I know that someday they're going to be a chef in their own right. And most of them are out there today are pretty damn good at what they do. So it makes me feel very, very proud because I feel that they're all you know, very close to me. Uh, they're all very immensely talented. And I, I tell every single guy who comes and leaves me is that I didn't make you who you are. I just helped you find yourself.